Welcome, everybody. I love getting to see your amazing faces on the call with us tonight. Happy March Madness, the very first day of March. I always love when our meeting falls right on the first of the month. And you have made it to your nation meeting, your board meeting for your business this evening. And we have lots of exciting announcements and recognition in store for you. So without further ado, it is my privilege to acknowledge those of you who are really rocking and rolling and um, push through a phenomenal February uh, to, um, to deliver these amazing results. So our top sponsor uh, from Pennsylvania is Jesse Wagner. We're 13 personally sponsored. Congratulations, Jesse. Also, she is our top district manager tonight. So Jesse Wagner, Central District Volume 10,500. How exciting is that? Super, super fun. And many of you might be um, following Jessie's story. She is uh, expecting her little wee one, Hannah, any day now. This is her um, first bebe, and, um, and she's been a trooper. She has really um, just pushed strong through the month of February to make this happen um, before bringing her little Hannah into the world. So I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Jessie. Top area manager, you will see her on the upper right of your screen. Beth Petrillo, give us a wave, sister. And Beth's uh, central area volume, 26,567. Way to go, sis. That's awesome. And our top regional vice president, Kendall Travers, who's joining us on the phone line tonight because she just wrapped up with one of her meetings in PA, her central region volume, 86,483. Oh, my goodness. Such a phenomenal job. I have watched this team move from an ending volume of about 105,000 in January to 145,000 in February. So talk about taking a leap. That is super, super fun. So we are definitely um, just watching you guys and cheering you on uh, to a super fun March Madness um, as you continue to your journey toward nation qualification. So way to go, everybody. We have many who we're recognizing tonight as um, our district manager bonus achievers. And these folks who are acknowledged are, are really doing um, a great job to partner and link arms with new team members and consultants in their own personal business to help them promote to district manager. And that's really our goal in Arbonne. We want to be district manager producing machines because we know that if we can do the work to get to district, we just simply continue doing that same work to get to nation. It just takes time and consistency doing that. So our district manager bonus achievers having 5,000 group volume and five sponsored within their central business is Jess Camero from Greensburg, Pennsylvania, Rhiannon Carlson from Orland, California, Alyssa Cavallero from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Lynn Carpenter from Reno, Nevada, Becky Cragen, Everett, Washington, Becky Humphreys, Sparks, Nevada, Kimberly Graham, Sparks, Nevada, Melissa Ladner, Klamath Falls, Oregon, Julie Mitchell, Somerset, Pennsylvania, Beth Petrillo, Jasper, Georgia, Lynn Fofer from Monroeville, Pennsylvania, Danielle Siuli from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Tiffany Spitznagel from Irwin, Pennsylvania, Kendall Travers from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Jesse Wagner from Monroeville, Pennsylvania. Congratulations to all of my district manager bonus achievers for the month of February. That's awesome. Rockstar. And um, give a huge shout out to our area manager bonus earners. So um, these ladies are moving and shaking again within their area of business um, to have 20,000 group volume and 10 sponsored. Um, so this is uh, phenomenal, fun, fun to watch this progress. So congratulations, our area manager bonus achievers, Rhiannon Carlson, Alyssa Cavallero, Beth Petrillo, Tiffany Spitznagel, and Kendall Travers. Congratulations, ladies. And our RVP bonus achiever for the month of February goes to Kendall Travers. Way to go. Congratulations, round of applause to our top achievers. And I wanna give a special shout out. We have several of you who have earned a GTC. Um, whether it was level one, earning your registration, or earning level two, and um, uh, some inherent wonderful goodies along with that. I'm gonna read the GTC earners tonight on the call. Tiff Spitznagel, 
Alyssa Cavallero, Becky Cragen, Ricky Light, Julie Mitchell, Lynn Fufer, Beth Petrillo. Congratulations, you guys. If I didn't get your name, be sure um, and send it my way so that I can acknowledge that and keep it a part of our recognition. I'm so proud of you all for going for it. And what a phenomenal way to treat yourself. GTC is on our one this year. I love that. Our AIT Atlantis trip, we are still in qualification for AIT, and that will continue through the end of May. And, um, and already we have some level one and level two achievers. And, um, and of course, at level three is when we go to Atlantis and we can bring our family along on a beautiful trip, thanks to Arvon. So level one achievers, congratulations to Rhiannon Carlson, Tiffany Spitznagel, and Kendall Travers. Way to go, you guys. That's awesome. And our level two earners, Alyssa Cavallero and Melissa Ladner. So that is a phenomenal work. We are so, so excited for these achievements. And we will continue to bring those achievements forward through the end of May. Uh, it's now my honor and privilege to bring on the line with us our um, amazing VPs to give recognition to their teams that are in qualification or um, promotions to new management levels. And so I am going to have Rhiannon hop on the line. Let me just put that beautiful girl in the center of the screen because she never lets us see her face. So this is like a rare Rhiannon sighting. I'm so excited. Hello, darling. Hello. Hi. Oh, so happy to see you tonight. Good to see you guys. And we'll let you take it away. Tell us what's happening in your world. This is fun. All right. Well, we have one person in qualification for district manager, and that is Rachel Aha of Buckeye, Arizona, sponsored by myself. Awesome. Congratulations, Rachel. So, so excited and proud for you. We're cheering you on to a strong finish, girl. Way to go. That is awesome. Thank you, Rhiannon. Thank you. And I bet, Alyssa, are you joining us by phone, honey? Can you hear us? I can. Are you guys on the phone together? Yes, we are. Oh, even better. Yes, we can hear you, girls. We can hear you. Okay, take it away. Thanks, Alyssa. You know that we have to do everything together. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, we have a bunch of girls in qualification for district. We have Christy Razovic from Plum, Pennsylvania, sponsored by Jesse Wagner. Caitlin Cunningham from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, sponsored by myself. Angela Jordan from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, sponsored by Trisha Rumpich. Kara Cole from Irwin, Pennsylvania, sponsored by Elena Sisley. Amber Rosal from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, sponsored by myself. And Carly Dukic from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, sponsored by Justine Bazo. We also have Alessandra Springbowl from Pittsburgh, PA, sponsored by Danielle Shuley. And we have one brand new district manager on our team, Elena Sisley from Irwin, Pennsylvania, sponsored by myself. I'm going to hand it over to Kendall. Congratulations, girls. Awesome. Thanks, Beth. Okay, so in qualification in our team, we've got Morgan Mundell from Swiftly, PA, sponsored by Mary Beth Joy. We have Molly Schleicher from Coriopolis, PA, sponsored by Mary Beth Joy. And we also have Mr. Tim Camero from Greensburg, PA, sponsored by Jessica Camero. And you have to give a special shout out to Tim because he's been so supportive of Jessica over the last six years or so in her business. And he's just such a rock star. And he really believes in the product. And I know he's going to be just as successful as her. And then our new district managers, we have Melissa Montani from Mars PA, sponsored by Tiffany Spitznagel. Mary Beth Joy from Coriopolis PA, sponsored by Regina Priebus. And Danielle McCain from McDonald, Pennsylvania, sponsored by myself. Congratulations, girl. Congratulations. That's awesome. So proud of you all. Do you want us to do the next part two of our in-call and news? Uh, yes. Yes, please. All right. I'm going to hand this one back to Alyssa real fast. Okay. Thank you. And we have one new girl in qualification for area manager, and that is Jessica Wagner from Pennsylvania, sponsored by Amanda Johnson. And I just want to give a shout out to Jessie because she is literally past her due date for her baby. <laughs> she is nine months pregnant, and her team is in such momentum, and she did not let being sick and being so pregnant stop her from anything last month. I'm so, so proud of her. 
And when we looked at her goal for this month to finish area, she was like, that is nothing. I got it. I'm ready to have this baby and finish area. So we're super, super proud of her. So awesome. So awesome. Way to go, Jesse. We're so proud of you. And then finally, we have a new area manager, Miss Jessica Camerot from Greensboro, oh. Pennsylvania, sponsored by myself. And we're just so excited about that. Like I mentioned, you guys have heard her name before. She's a rock star in this business, and she's working so hard all the time. She has a sweet little Hannah, so we're going to have two area managers with Hannah Baby very soon <laughs> on our team. I love that. <laughs> um, but, and they're both named Jessica. <laughs> so I just am so, Jess, I'm so, so proud of you. Um, you have just been such a life force in our business. Everybody that knows her loves her. You meet her once and you feel like she's instantly a best friend and that's why she's successful. And we're just really proud of her and she's only one step away from getting that life stage. Yay! Congratulations, Jess. This is amazing. I know she'll be probably listening in at a later point. I had asked her to um, be one of our featured speakers tonight on the call, but uh, her work commitments from her J-O-B, yes, yeah, she's still working her J-O-B alongside Arvon, like so many of us. Her work commitments kept her away from us tonight, but we'll definitely catch her for a uh, call in the near future because you will absolutely love Jess's story. So congratulations to all of you. Amazing. You are all rocking and rolling. And the fun thing about coming into March, because of course, you know, we, we know that there's 31 days in March and why that feels so much longer in terms of time frame, but it just does, you know, this extra two or three days make a big difference. Um, but this is really the season you're in your business to be planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds. And that sets you up for a beautiful harvest. Um, of course, you know, at the end of March, but also throughout the rest of the year. So let this be a focus for all of us. March Madness is really the time to be reaching out and connecting with every one of your contacts and just asking how you can help them with Arbonne, where they see themselves, what, where, where do they see themselves fitting with Arbonne. This is a wonderful month to do that. And in doing that, you're going to set yourself up and your new team members fantastically for all of the fun that we are going to be learning about at GTC, which is right around the corner. So, um, so this is an awesome month to just um, dig, dig, dig your, dig your heels in and focus and, um, and, give this amazing gift of Arbon that has blessed us all. Speaking of blessings and prayers, um, we are going to elevate several of our team members um, in prayers tonight. And one of those beautiful people is on the call with us tonight. So please keep Kimberly Graham and her beautiful family in your prayers. Um, Kimberly and her family celebrated the life of Blanca who um, is their bonus mom back in Pennsylvania. So um, we really, um, uh, we just acknowledge and, and lift up Blanca and know that um, she's at peace and that she's comfortable. So, so, so um, uh, glad that we could continue to pray through that process. Pardon me, you guys, I'm gonna try and get back to my screen here. Okay, very good. And also, um, continued prayers, please, for Dan Carpenter Sr. He is here with us in Sparks, Nevada. That's Millie's husband, Sarah's dad, and Lynn's father-in-law. And he continues to have regular checkups down at UCSF San Francisco um, to, uh, to monitor his progress uh, with, um, with um, his successful tumor removals, two of them now. So um, please keep Dan in your prayers. And along those notes, many of you are familiar and um, are aware that Sarah Gernert and her family, um, their home was in the path or very near the path of a tornado just this last week. And so um, I can't even imagine the fear and chaos that Sarah felt. She was at home at the time with Lily, her little one, um, and their two um, 
they're two wiener dogs, and um, and Hank was working, so he was not even at home when this happened, and I can't even imagine. Um, but to hear Sarah share more of that story and tell it, it is just um, just an un unreal phenomenon. So um, continue prayers for the Gunert family, but also for several of their neighbors um, that they can um, have a a, a a full recovery from that um, from that uh, just very, very challenging experience. And Justin Pierce, I'm going to give a shout out to sweet Justin. We love that guy. Um, I don't know if he can hear us tonight. I know Jenny's on the call, so maybe Justin can hear us in the background. If you are, Justin, we love you. It has been exactly a year ago this previous month that Justin had his brain tumor removal surgery, successful brain tumor removal surgery, um, with a good pathology and everything um, just went phenomenal um, with his surgery last year, and he continues to be followed up on a regular basis as well. Um, so kudos and shout out to the entire Pierce clan from your extended Arbonne family. We love you guys and um, we'll continue to pray for um, a solid uh, good reports going forward. And our, um, our local family member, our Arbonne family member here, Carly, Carly Kinney, her dad, Mike West, and her mom, Connie West, are now Reno residents and, and are able to be living with Carly and Pete and their family um, where they can really enjoy life to the fullest. So um, continue prayers for, for Mike's um, a comfort and, um, and healing and um, just precious time with his family. And I had a special prayer request from one of my longtime grandfather consultants. Her name is Janice, and um, and she reached out to me this past week and said, Becky, um, you are so good um, about elevating people in prayer. Would you please pray for my dad? He turns 86 on um, March the 10th and he's having a major surgery the next day on March 11th. So his name is Joe Ruiz, and he lives in Southern California. So if you can just keep him on your prayer list, that would be awesome. I really appreciate it. And always, we appreciate prayers for our sideline sisters, Shana in Portland, Oregon, and Sarah Wilson in, um, in Arkansas. Thank you for elevating them and keeping them on your hearts uh, as, as we walk with them through their breast, relative breast cancer journeys. It's been awe-inspiring to see what these women have gone through. They are both powerhouses. A few announcements before we have a, our powerful close and inspiration tonight. Um, the first one, all I will say about renewals, because yes, they have extended the date by March the 8th, so that is a week from today. Um, if any renewals from 2015 or if February renewals are not received by March 7th, um, those accounts will be reclassified to preferred client on Tuesday, March the 8th. And any success line that those folks would have sponsored will pop up to their upline. So that's all I'm gonna say about renewals because you guys are doing a rock star job. I'm preaching to the choir on that. My second announcement is GTC, our global training conference, April 14th through the 16th. Um, I think all of us are aware by now that GTC is sold out. So there's no seats currently available. Those that did earn GTC with the destination Nation GTC package. Don't worry, seats have been reserved for you if you had not already registered. That's a okay. So not not an issue or concern there. Um, and 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 uh, Arbon will be contacting you if you have not yet registered. Um, then then Arbon will be contacting you for sure, uh, so that they can get you guys registered. And. Um, so far, they have not developed a wait list uh, for, uh, for registrations. There are many people, including several on our team, that are hoping to get registered by GTC. But until people actually cancel their registrations right now, there's no spots available to open up. And so we can just continue to keep checking for registrations. We're hoping that a wait list will go in place, but right now that's not at our disposal. I will keep you guys posted on that just in case there are are people that you want to see join us as guests or as new team members. Um, let's get everybody that we can down there. 
we will be having our Vegas VIP night back by popular demand. Um, after our amazing product launch on Thursday night, April 14th, those of you who personally sponsor 16 preferred clients or consultants with 150 starting order in the months of February and March, so you get two full months to do that, if you personally sponsor 16, we're calling it the Sweet 16 Challenge, you will be invited out to our Vegas VIP night immediately following our um, product launch on Thursday, April 14th. So definitely many of you are well on your way and are over halfway um, to, to meeting this challenge. And there will be gifting for the top three. So the um, special jewels for the number one sponsoring, the number two sponsoring, and the number three sponsoring. So excited to be a part of that night with you all. And, um, and then finally, Team T-shirt, that, uh, that would be for our entire Deanna Heron success line. That, is, that project is being worked on, and so not to fear, we will definitely be able to have that um, all together in the auditorium again. Thanks for your patience on that, and as soon as I know, it'll be any day now that we're rolling that out, as soon as I know, we'll definitely get the ball rolling so that we can get some orders and, and start rolling with that. So without further ado, I am going to bring on our trainers for tonight's call. And I'm really, really excited to introduce our first speaker tonight. We had a phenomenal conference just last weekend at, um, or pardon me, a week and a half ago at Scottsdale. And this was with Deanna Heron's entire success line. It was our area manager and vice president retreat. She generally does these about every other year. Um, and so this year was in beautiful sunny Scottsdale and we got to link arms as an awesome team and be all together. It was marvelous. We had such a great time. And so to help me um, in, in bringing forth some of the most powerful information, tools, tips, ahas, I have asked um, two of our incredible area manager teams to um, be able to come up on the line with us tonight and share um, a few of the great nuggets that they've learned. And so I'm gonna introduce one of the, our two speakers this evening, and that is gorgeous Kimberly Graham, who is one of my dearest, closest friends. I am so blessed that she walked into my life, and heaven forbid if it wasn't for Arbonne, yes, we might have crossed paths because Sparks is a small enough town that way, um, but I am so grateful that she said yes to Arbonne and that she has been running um, alongside me on this journey. Um, she is uh, just a guru a powerhouse, she is a red. Um, so those of you who know your color code, um, you will absolutely love her because she knows how to get things done. She's all about action. Um, but, but more importantly as well, and definitely um, a part of the Arbon culture, Kim never hesitates to lend a hand to anyone who is needing um, help or assistance or guidance. She is there for any single one of you, and that is my favorite thing about this girl. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna bring Kimberly up on the screen in just a moment. But Kim, if you want to um, just share a little bit briefly about your story, how you got involved into Arbon, and then I'll bring you up. Perfect. So I will tell you with the issue with the screen sharing, I can't um, access my own computer and notes. Okay. So okay. I may be totally winging this unless you can do it while introduce a little bit about myself. No problem. Let me work on that. Thank okay. you. Uh, I started my business six and a half years ago and um, I had previously used the products twice before, loved it, but honestly, I thought I'm 30. What do I need anti-aging skin coat for? Um, so little did I know I really needed it, and I realized in my 40s how much I do. But I went to another event. I was um, invited by my massage therapist at the time, brought another girlfriend who also had previously loved the product, and there I met Lynn Carpenter. And I'll tell you the difference for me that night. First, I pulled up and I saw this white Mercedes. From my previous experience, I knew that that was the company car, and I was really impressed that someone in the Reno Sparks area had earned the car. So that's, um, yay, there's my notes. Sorry, <laughs> squirrel. Um, so that, to me right there, was like, wow, there's something to it. So that night, I agreed to go ahead and listen to a call. It was actually Deanna's call. And what made a difference for me was when she asked who had control of my financial freedom. And it was like a pit to my stomach because it was the sheriff's office. And at the time, we hadn't had a raise in years. And I was topped out, and I knew I'd be going no further. So for me, I already loved the product. 
So I had nothing to lose. It was a win-win. I was going to get a bigger discount. My goal was $300 a month and um, I was giving it six months. I was one of those. Well, within uh, three months, I had far exceeded that financial um, piece. I had made more than that. But more important to that was what the other side of it, the culture, these wonderful people that I realized we had. Most of you know I lost my dad the first month of my business. So here are these women that I had just met that did my business for me while I was gone. And I went into qualification and finished district manager while, um, because of them doing that for me. And so fast forward now six years, and here I've lost my stepmom. And once again, these women stepped up to the plate and offered to do my presentations while I was gone. So you're all here for different reasons, but know that we have the most incredible, incredible leadership um, that we're lucky enough to have. Those of us that live here in the Reno Sparks area, you have it. But those of you, Pennsylvania, California, they're all... Becky's and Lynn's and Rhiannon's and Kendall's and all that we're lucky to have that so that's definitely what's made a difference for me staying in this it's been a huge journey about personal development and growth and that's going to take me right to what I want to talk about Becky asked me to share some ahas or a and an aha from this weekend and for me it's not one particular thing it's really just a it's a messy conglomeration of things so there were a, a wonderful speakers, so many of them in Scottsdale. This was 10 years ago. So originally, I think Deanna had it planned around the topic of motivation, but it evolved to being about you as a whole. And for me, that made me think a lot about the personal development, which I've been focusing on lately through self-analysis and reading. So I want to give you some tidbits of what I got out of this weekend. And it's a hodgepodge, so bear with me. Um, first that came to speak was uh, Nita Irwin, who we are lucky enough to be in her line, and she comes to these events and pours into us. She had two big points that really spoke to me, and the first was recognize, focus, and train on your strengths, and that this is a lifelong journey. And I always laugh when it comes to this talking about playing to your strengths. Um, on my team is Melissa Hicks. She and I started about the same time. And when we first started, we're like, we're going to get organized. We're terrible at organization. And we printed out a bunch of stuff that we used. And next thing you know, we launched new product. And so all the stuff that we had done to be organized because it was our weakness was no longer valid. So that's something we always laugh about. So now we just focus on what are we great at? What's our strengths? And those things, the weaknesses, you know, you can improve upon them, but don't let that overrun your mind. Really play to your strengths. Um, and number two she talked about is be willing to discover your traits. Don't change who you are. Change your focus. There are no limits. Learn to use your strengths. Beware of who you are and what it takes. And the greatest value you can add to yourself is to be more of who you are. So you heard Becky mention that I'm a red. If you haven't done the color personality, test yet you probably will within your teams and that one's just so important it was really fun um, to do that we did it at Lake Tahoe our team is doing that now and then they highlighted upon this again deep, even deeper of what color you are how you interact with the three other colors or personalities and then um, how best for them to interact with you so also to learn more again about yourself and what your strengths are um, so I want to summarize some of the things that the weekend in general and other tidbits that were said by Nita, Deanna, and other people that were there. Um, first, know nothing can stop you except you and be better, not bitter. The other part is stay in the game. You've heard many of us say the only way this doesn't work is if you quit. Well, that's true, but it also doesn't work if you don't work. So the word work is in network marketing. And we have a system for success. So do you know what it is? And if not, ask your upline. And the second question would be, do you practice it? And I mean, really, do you practice it? And I ask you to ask that of yourself because I've been taking a good hard look at my business of what have I done? Where am I at? Where do I want to be? And am I really doing the things that our team, our leadership, which is amazing, um, is teaching us? Which, by the way, goes all the way up 
to Anita Irwin. This it's the same system. So all these people that are there and are promoting and doing these things, they're doing the same thing that we're doing. So take a look at your IPA, your income producing activity. Take an honest look. What are you doing well? Where could you use some improvement? And notice I'm using the term you, not your team or your sideline, or if I'm talking to myself, it's I. I need to focus on the best I can be. I also want to say it's okay to be competitive, but realize you're not in competition with others. You are in competition with yourself to be the best you can be. The big thing in this business is no comparing and be the best you. So tonight, as we talk about people celebrating Jessica becoming an AM, Beth Petrillo, top, um, getting her um, AM bonus and top AM, all those things. That's awesome. We want to congratulate and support each other and just work on focusing on you being the better you, not am I not there yet or doing as good as so-and-so has nothing to do with you, right? So that leads me to mindset. And that is so important in this business. Where is your mind yet? Where's your mind at? What is your mindset? I'd like to share two books that I've been reading lately that I feel fell perfectly in line with this past weekend um, or two weekends ago in Scottsdale. The first is Brene Brown's Daring Greatly, which was gifted at Christmas by my upline. And the other one is called Mindset by Carol Dweck. And I've learned so much from both of these, specifically how your mindset influences you um, and how you see the world and how you, fit, how you handle both failure and success. So in closing, I hope these tidbits encourage you to be the best you and maybe also encourage you to read a book because if you're not reading books, you really need to. And that's all I got, Becky. <laughs> well, that was fabulous, honey, and then some. Thank you so much. Perfect. You hit all the amazing notes, Kim. I love, love what – it's so fun for us all to hear what spoke to you, what was put on your heart, and then what you're doing to carry that forward in your business. That is really, if we can task ourselves with just pulling even one thing away from these incredible, powerful conferences, then we've really, we've really mastered what we were supposed to get out of that. So I applaud you and thank you for sharing your heart and for being one of our fabulous trainers. We love you, Kimberly Graham, our red Kimberly Graham. It's awesome. <laughs> And now coming on the on the line to be with us tonight, Tiffany Spitznagel. And Tiffany is such a go-getter. And she is that way for, of course, for herself and for her own dreams. But she really does see that for her team members as well. And she's all about raising the bar and keeping that energy high for her team. So she really is a leader who runs from the front of her business and she is always um, doing everything in her power um, to help inspire and elevate her team. And so I'm really blessed that she was able to stay up till the wee hours, Pennsylvania time. It looks like it's like two o'clock in the afternoon, Tiff, where you are. Um, yeah, but, but I know this is a little tad late, honey. So thank you so much for, um, for being on the call. And um, I will ask you to briefly share your story and then share your ahas from the retreat. Thanks, Becky. It's always an honor to be able to train on these calls, so I appreciate you asking me to share some ahas. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so being able to go to the area manager retreat is always a super um, big highlight of our travels in Arbonne. Um, this is the second area retreat that I got to go to, and I encourage you all to put this on your dream board and make it your goal to be able to go to this retreat because it is absolutely amazing. You get to spend time with the top leaders in Arbonne, which is always such a blessing. And there are so many takeaways from the weekend, but I kind of highlighted, actually, surprisingly, some of the things that Kim talked about. So, And we didn't talk before this, so it's kind of fun to see that we were influenced in the same way. Um, a big thing was loving yourself and discovering who you are. I felt like that was a big theme of our time there. Um, recognizing the traits. Um, this is a lifelong journey. You know, we always say that Arbon is a personal growth business, and I absolutely believe that because I know where I started and where I'm at today are two hopefully two different people in good ways. Um, so recognizing, you know, traits that you have um, is always a good thing. Um, 
one of the quotes that we um, that was talked about is we don't have to be bigger or better than anyone other than ourselves. So Kim kind of talked about this too, not comparing yourself to other people. You know, everybody's journey is different and it's fun to watch your own journey unfold and not compare yourself to other people. Um, something else they talked about, personal growth. Like I said, this is a personal growth business. Um, work on yourself. Be more of who you are, not anyone else. It's better to be 100% of you than to be perfect, right? Because none of us are perfect. We are all works in progress and we all have our own strengths, which is kind of fun as a team, right? So you know the people on your team that you're learning from because they have certain strengths and you have certain strengths. So that's what kind of makes it an amazing journey is we can all pull from each other's strengths. Um, it's easy to pick out what we aren't good at, but they challenged us to love ourselves and our homework was to look in the mirror each day and tell yourself that you you love let's say I love you so I love myself right so I challenge you all to do that because we probably you know I know specifically for myself I'll pick out something that's wrong with myself before I'll say you know oh I'm great at this so um, I challenge you all to do that go tell yourselves you love yourself um, one Another thing that kind of stood out to me was they gave us tips on sponsoring your cold market. So I know this is something that totally pushes me out of my comfort zone. I um, have to work on talking to people that I don't know. Um, so they gave us some tips as far as, um, you know, if you're at the grocery store or if you're at Target or Walmart and you're in the cosmetics aisle and you happen to see someone and you strike up conversation with them, you know, just asking them a ton of questions and complimenting them. And if you feel like this is something that you need to work on, just start by talking to random people and work on complimenting them and asking lots of questions. And then when you start talking about the business and you incorporate that into conversation, as you progress through getting more comfortable with this, then it becomes more organic and it's not something that's forced. And then, you know, when you're done talking to those people that you meet, make sure you get their contact information so you can follow up with them. So that was something that kind of really hit home for me. Um, another thing that we talked about, which I really liked is, um, and I don't remember who it was, gave us a little bit of a system for coaching people through the 30 days to healthy living. Um, and maybe this is something that Becky can send out because I'm sure you guys will be hearing this in our, um, you know, when we break off in our own team meetings, but there was a great document that um, was given to us and it kind of goes through what you say to people the day before, what you can say to them on day one, day two, day three, and really how to work in um, approaching them about the business later on um, when they're on their journey. So this is aside from the information that is posted in our private Facebook groups, this is something that when you're specifically coaching someone along, um, these are tips that you can, and things that you can say to them to kind of help them on their journey. So I really like that. I am a blue and somewhat red, so I guess I'm a purple. Um, and I liked the format of this and having something to follow. Um, so those are kind of the, couple things that stood out to me. Um, so again, Becky, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak this evening. Tip, that was marvelous. And I appreciate you allowing yourself to be vulnerable and, um, and just, just to acknowledge that there really are, there, there's so much opportunity for growth if we choose to open our eyes to that and take a look inside and take a look at ourselves first. And that can sometimes be the most challenging thing, especially because we are our own worst critic. And I think Tiff, you addressed that very, very beautifully. Um, and so, um, so clearly that was something that was put on Kim's heart, Tiff's heart, all of our hearts, um, is that just be, work to be the best version of you. Right. I mean, we, we don't have to compare or compete with anybody else. So well done on summarizing those um, those awesome points. And I'm so excited that our leaders on the call with us tonight got to hear from the talented Tiffany as well. Thank you, dear, for sharing. And tonight I'll close with uh, a, a little snippet. It was a, a bit of Deanna's story that she shared at the very close of our training. And I thought it was powerful. It really made me sit back and kind of have 
um, my own few aha moments. And, um, and, and she basically ended the retreat with a challenge. She said, you know, I just challenge you to be bigger than where you are today. And one, one quote that mirrors this idea I heard a long while ago, um, the goal is not to be better than anybody else. The goal is to be better than you were yesterday. The goal is not to be better than anyone else. The goal is to be better than you were yesterday. I believe that was from the Energy Bus by John Gordon. Um, but here was the powerful point that really took my breath away. Deanna said that she reached her first why. Her why was to desperately be home with her two small children when she started Arbonne. And 14 years ago, she achieved that point in her business where she could walk away um, from her job as a physician assistant and be able to be at home and be fully present with them. But what was really eye-opening is she said, you know, if I had stopped growing and if I had settled for, okay, I got what I wanted out of this business, I achieved my why. So if she had stopped growing, stopped developing, stopped inspiring others to say yes to Arbonne, none of the 140 of us in the retreat would have ever made it there because none of us in that room were in her business 14 years ago. And our team is very much one of those stories. I had only heard of Arbonne 10 years ago myself, and little did I know at the point when I was sponsored into Arbonne that we were ending up in the amazing Deanna Heron success line. And so I thank God for Deanna every day that she continued to say yes and continued to develop and grow to allow space and room for all of us in her business where she's at today. Um, and of course, her journey was was rocky and challenging. There were so many obstacles that she had to come overcome professionally, um, personally, and of course, you know, learning the nuts and bolts in this business. And so she had five key traits that Deanna said that she needed to keep in focus or keep in front of her to stay all in and develop these many nations that she now has in her success line. So trait number one, she trusted the process. Trust the process. Commit to consistency. You won't see a change in your business until three to six months once you decide to commit and be all in. So you do have to trust the process and walk by faith for much of your journey. Number two, she took courage. She took courage. The growth seasons in our business come when you are faced with obstacles. Courage is the necessary ingredient to think bigger and work through those obstacles and come out on the other side. So when you have moments in your business where you think to yourself, oh, I don't think I can do this. You might even be almost hyperventilating, you know, before you go into a group presentation or before the first time that you have to share the Discover Arbon in front of your team members. Um, or if it's a really, really big chickenless ask and you're thinking to yourself, I don't think I can do this. If you're thinking this, will you have regret if you don't do it? That's what taking courage is. If you think it, will you have regret if you don't do it? acknowledge that, embrace it, and just move through it. Come through on the other side, that's courage. Number three, she stopped the self-deprecation. As Tiff had mentioned, as Kim alluded to, we are our own worst critics. We're hardest on ourselves before um, we, we ever you know, would even imagine um, saying something negative to, to, about somebody else. So um, embrace that and love yourself. Say, I love you in the mirror every day. I know it feels a little corny at first when I did it. And I'm like, who else is watching me do this? This is a little crazy. But I challenge you to do it. Embrace that. Stop the self-deprecation. And God loves you despite any of your own perceived shortcomings. And he's the only person, he's the only being that we have any responsible to, ultimately. Number four, keep your dream stealers away. And Deanna had a few big dream stealers in her, in her journey, one of which was her husband, Mark. He was not supportive of her business for a long time. But of course, with 
having that challenge and working through that challenge together has brought so many blessings forward from for both of them. Mark um, would be the first to say, I had to step up and be an amazing dad. And I don't know if I would have that relationship with my kids had Deanna not gotten out of the way and allowed that process to move forward. Um, but the whole point behind keep dream stealers away is don't let anyone else's words or opinions occupy the space between your two ears. Really focus on putting good things in between in that space and constantly refueling your mind. That's how you're going to work to overcome that. And then the fifth and the final point, be transformed by renewing your mind. I love this. Be transformed by renewing your mind. Personal development. That is really the hinge on how we end up growing, promoting, um, helping to attract others to our business. Uh, that it, it, it really, you know, lives and dies on personal development. And this is always what will be important to equip you for this time. So here's the deal. I promise you there is someone in the world that's waiting on you to be strong, to take courage, to grow forward, and to bring them this amazing gift of our mind. You have not met them yet. And if you really stop to think about it, perhaps this is the moment, one of the many moments for which you've been created. So in closing, uh, one of our favorite verses, Esther 4, 14, who knows but that you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. You know, yes, we have to equip ourselves to the full extent that we can by infusing that personal development, that positive energy into us, but really work your business like it's all up to you and pray for your business like it's all up to God. If you do those two things, work your business like it's all up to you and pray for your business like it's all up to God, you are controlling everything that you can in your power. And I know you guys are all doing that and embracing that and growing forward. And I commend you for that. Thank you to our awesome um, recognition and our incredible trainers, Kimberly and Tiffany, for being on. I love you all, and I'm so ready to have Rockstar Recognition after the end of March. Good night, you all. Love you. God bless.